One of the things we can do for a course is we can add course completion to the course. What this means is that we can decide what criteria need to be completed for a course to be classed or a student to be classed as completed in a course. So to do that, we need to turn course completion on to start with if it isn't already on. So let's go to settings for the course. Scroll down to completion tracking and make sure that enable completion tracking is ticked. And we have the option of show activity completion conditions, which are those activity completion conditions that appear inside a course when a student's actually using the course. So for, for example, let's just jump to a student. You can see all these course completion objects here, to do, view, to do, receive a grade, to do, receive a passing grade. These are all the course completion activities or items that are required to complete. And you can see there that they do actually take up quite a bit of space as well, but they may be useful to your students. They may not be, it's up to you. To turn them off, we go back to our course and we say no, and we'll just save and display. Go back to our student, reload the page, and you can see now that the student doesn't have all of that extra course completion. It still shows a tick over to the side if they have completed or if they viewed the, viewed the page, but it doesn't show the criteria over on the right hand side that need to be completed for a task to actually be 100% complete. Back on our page again for our course, we need to now decide what the course completion settings are. To do that, we go more, and we go to course completion. This is more in our course screen. So we go course completion, completion requirements, course is complete when all conditions are met or when any conditions are met. Usually you have it on when all conditions are met. If we select our activities, you can see now that every time we set up a task, we actually required a completion for each one of those in our settings. So we can tick all of those and basically say that if quiz task is complete, that means the students completed the quiz and passed then that item is complete. For the assignment, in this particular case for this assignment, they just had to submit and have it graded. The forum, they had to post once and reply twice and then have that graded by a teacher to make sure they did that correctly. Assignment four was again a submission and assignment five was the one where a teacher completes that particular assignment or that particular task for the student or marks it off for the student. Once the student's attended, and they have proof that they attended, then they can get that marked off and that's complete. So as long as all of those requirements are complete, if we save that now, a student who has completed all of those successfully will have been, will now have completed the whole course and that will activate the course completion report that will allow a teacher or assessor to have a look and see who's completed everything in the course without having to go back through everyone's grades and check. The other options for course completion are obviously completion of another course. So it could be completing all these tasks, but you also have to complete and choose another course. And if they've completed the other course and this one, then that requirement is passed. You can also have a date. So part of course completion might be having completed the course, meaning we've gone past this date, so now that's complete. An enrollment duration is the same type of thing. They've been enrolled for seven days or two weeks or three months whatever you want to put in there, unenrollment. So when they're unenrolled, which seems a little bit strange, but when they, you unenroll them, that means the completion is now complete as well. Course grading, you can actually set a required course grade that says the course is complete. So they may have completed activities, but the grades could be all over the place, all different. But if you enable that, you can set an actual grade pass that's required, that if the student achieves that, then completion is marked off as well. There is, of course, manual self-completion where the student can mark this off too. Uh, you need the completion block in there so the student can actually do that. We didn't have that on this one, but you can. And then you can also have course completion can be completed by non editing teacher, teacher or manager as the requirement for marking it off. So the student could complete all of these tasks, but then the final say of completion is by one of these people here, non-editing, a teacher or a manager. If we click save, we now have all of our completion turned on for a student. We can go into reports, go to course completion, and we can have a look at the items required for course completion because we ticked all of them off. And you can see there that student has completed two of the one, two, three, four, five items. That green tick 
or there will be a green tick that happens there for the course completion once those other two items are completed. Our other two students haven't completed anything yet. But that's how we set up course completion for a course in Moodle 4.0.